Hi, and welcome to Morfolio Trace. In this video, we'll look at how to use drawing power tools. We'll take a look at how to use the Super Protractor and the Super Triangle. Let's get started. So you can see that we're in this really stunning drawing by Barbara Dokshina, an amazing landscape architect. And there is this stone steps that are kind of centrally located and they have a radial design. Now, if we turn on our protractor, we can locate it here. And just like regular, you can insert a specific dimension. So let's say we want 697 centimeters here. Hit the green check and our protractor is perfectly aligned now to the outside of this circle. We can draw along here and add in a black line. The other really exciting thing about the new super protractor though is that there is a gear toggle here to be able to turn on assist. Now if we drop down the size of the protractor to super small, you can see that even though we are away from the protractor's edge, we actually are still able to draw perfect circles around that center point. Not only that though, we can also draw radial lines along the grid towards the center of that circle. So we can fill in these steps here without a problem. Super easy and such an amazing new design tool. Super cool. And just like that, we're able to fill in that stone step and create perfect circles. Here's a drawing by Rodrigo Cavazos, an industrial designer. And you can see in this sketch, he's got these bottle shapes that aren't quite circular, but maybe would be better suited with an ellipse. Now what you can do is tap these yellow dots, and now you can see that we can squinch down our circle into an ellipse form to continue adding new ellipses to this drawing. And we can keep reshaping them and continue adding ellipses. Now when you're done with your ellipse tool, maybe you need to go back to circles, you can simply double tap the protractor to bring it back to its circular shape. The last thing that's really special about the new protractor, which is that you can draw the center point of your circle. So in this case, it's really helpful when drawing trees to be able to locate the trunk as you're sketching. So we can resize the protractor to fit into our tree line here. And maybe we'll increase the size of this. And now if you draw in the center, you'll get this perfect dot to draw the center point of your circle. Super, super helpful. Very cool. And just like that, you have your center dots. Now let's take a look at the super triangle. Here is a beautiful axon drawing by Jason Sheldrick. And you can see if we want to continue working on this project, we can, first of all, set our triangle angle. So we can set it at any specific degree using this rotator here, but we want it at 30, so we'll keep it at 30. Like a regular triangle, you can draw along the edge of the triangle, but there's also a new feature just like the protractor that allows you to turn assist on and there's also a tap toggle button as well. Now, 
not only can you draw right along the edge of the, the ruler as well, but you can also draw perpendicularly to the different ruler edges. And you can even draw off of the edges. So if we go here, we can add all of these detail lines that are perpendicular to the different edges along the triangle's sides. How cool is this? Not only that, but if you have tap toggle on, when you're drawing a line and you want to go off the rails, you can just tap a finger and now you're getting a line that goes in any direction that you need. So we can draw these X's, which may not be at the same angle as your triangle. And if we want to return to filling in those edges that we want, maybe we see some dashed lines here that we want to fill in, we can grab our line again, tap with a finger, and now we are snapping back to the angles that are set up by the triangle. How cool is that? This feature is also really helpful not only for axon drawings like this, but also if you have a plan that works off of multiple grids. So you can see here in this amazing drawing by Everton Centinello that there is this part of the plan that is rotated 45 degrees and we want to add in a range that's located along here um, but this time it is on a 45 degree angle so we'll go up here lock in 45 degrees and now we can of course use the triangle's edge to start filling in these spots but we can also go off of that edge perpendicularly and start to draw in the lines that we need without a problem. So cool. In addition, we can also draw our perpendicular lines that we need to fill in this range. How great is that? Super easy. And just like this, we can draw parallel and perpendicularly with our new super triangle. Really, really easy, all with the super triangle. So I hope that you enjoy working with both the super triangle and the super protractor. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.